I knew it was going to be bad. I did that on purpose, you know, right? <laughs> Just had to make sure you're listening. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we could hear the big kabooms last night, right? And then the heavy rain that just came gushing down. And you know what? We are going to see less and less of that heavy rain as we go through time. This is North Carolina A&T State University today, where we do have clouds that are still pretty thick. We're going to try to shake some of those clouds, too, as we head into the weekend. We do still have a flood watch out, although most of the rain is to the east, and the rain coverage is definitely going to lessen heading into the evening. Then tomorrow, we've got a chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. It stays fairly mild, and then only an isolated storm chance headed into the weekend. That flood watch still includes for now for Scythe, Guilford, Alamance, Davidson, Randolph counties. Again, I think most of the rain, though, is sort of subsiding across the area. See a lot of it kind of trending off to the east. But over the last 12 hours, it's been pretty active. And in fact, over the last 24 hours, we've seen some two to three inches of rain over parts of northern Davidson County, southeastern Forsyth County, Guilford, and then into Alamance counties. A lot of that coming last night. Also had some heavy rains that ran through Stokes and Rockingham County again last night. We've got some good news. This is what the drought situation was last week, and we actually had an area of extreme drought over Yadkin, parts of northwestern Forsyth County. The severe drought covered most of our area, and then we had moderate drought to the south and east. Now, of course, we got a lot of heavy rains, so we did actually see some improvement from last week to this week. Check it out. We actually now have that lowest stage in our northwest communities and southeast where we've seen so much rain over Alamance and Randolph counties. Moderate drought now instead of severe across Guilford, Davidson, as well as Surrey and Wilkes. Yakin still in trouble in parts of Forsyth County, not seeing as much rain, but severe as opposed to extreme there in Yakin. And you can see why. The rain hasn't been as high from Davie into Yakin, Forsyth, and southern Rockingham over the last five days. But we've seen a number of inches, easily over three, and in some cases more than five or six inches of rain in the southeastern triad, also over parts of the foothills. We still have a lot of water suspended in the air. We measure that with the dew point, and they're still in the low 70s. But those are going to come down a little bit into the weekend, too. Temperatures have been down today in the upper 70s and low 80s, and that's because we've had a lot of cloud cover around. You do see that rain kind of shifting east. That's what we've been dealing with for most of this morning and midday. And as we go through the nighttime hours, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. There will be some clouds around. We could have some patchy light rain or a little bit of drizzle that continues into tomorrow morning. Definitely some fog and kind of a cloudy start to the day on Friday. By lunchtime, we still have the clouds around. Temperatures are in the low to mid 80s, and then we may see a few of those pop up showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon, but the rain chance is fairly low at 30 to 40 percent. Our high about 82 for the foothills. We're also into the low 80s by late day. A shower chance around mountains mid 70s could still have some heavy showers and that forecast shows you that front north and west. That's what's going to dry us out into the weekend so that we only have a small chance of rain on Saturday. The checking traffic at the five o'clock hour. This is a live look at I